Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scavenger. Now, before going in, my PC has been acting up a bit, so I can't render the, the games properly uh, with music and all, so we gotta do like this today and I'll figure something out. This battle was supposed to go up yesterday, but due to the issue, I will not been able to. And this is a battle from the NUCL, which is actually a lower tier NU tier. Uh, league really and um, it is basically a league with a few friends that uh, want to try something different within you that had a previous season and I joined the second season just for funsies I just want to really make sure to check out a few Pokemon and basically have a fun time and so I had this game at the same time I had that game against the Rizzleman or Thomas my first NUCL match so these were both done on the same day which means I was lacking a few Pokemon due to I forgot the um, game cartridge or game DS really in, um, well, at work for some reason. I was preparing, I do believe, for Mr. Murkrow and forgot the game there uh, in the LBA. So um, we're out of few folks, though I did have a lot of the Pokemon I drafted on my Pokebag, so that actually kind of worked. Now, I don't have a Stuffland, which was immensely annoying because I knew it would be a massive threat this battle. And, um, my opponent has drafted X and Y moves that Dragology, Miss Rebus, X and Y, Not Mega, um, Aphros, Articuno, Kangaskhan, and C Waddle, I do believe, or Lemony. Uh, I'm using Raichu, Mr. Mime, Avalog, Yoda, Not Mega Sceptile, and Quillfish, actually, who was drafted to the lowest, really. And now I haven't really found a good use out of it, and that's because I'm not good with it. I do believe, I haven't really tried it before. And this is Romeo and you for right reasons, I'm just not, haven't figured that out yet. Anyway, let's actually get into this battle. Um, so I was a bit out of it because I knew that Raymond is extremely dangerous and me fighting half, half good, half bad is not gonna help. So anyway, I have a Surf Raichu, which is the one I'm leading with. And I just go for Volt Switch, potentially um, damaging his Sash. And I do believe here that he's just going to go straight on at it for a stick web. I haven't watched this game in like two weeks or something like that, so I might be might be a bit behind. Now I will go to the Fondra Nature, and there's a stick web. Uh, now I thought I had Rapid Spin on the Avalog, I didn't. So that was um, that was really, really, really bad. Now I think he'll, he'll see, and I'll go for Rapid Spin, but as I recall here, I didn't have it, so I was like, alright, I guess I could hit it. And that is not gonna work. Now, will wisp is gonna come, and there is no way for me to really play around it, and I knew that. So, Gur is gonna go in, I hope to catch that sticky web, and finish him off with a knockoff. But, you know, nifty moves, and Phoenix will avoid that. And, um, I think there was no reason for me not going for a knockoff here, and, um, it will do decent, decent, um... But the thing is, I end up not knocking out anything, which I felt was a bit scary. And uh, so he's going to focus blast. We're going to eat that. We're going to retaliate with green punch, and he is going to eat that bottle well too. Uh, we get a lot of HP back, and uh, I do believe here he switched out to his eleven E uh, because eleven E can soak these hits. Even though I don't like saying it, uh, it still holds true. And I kept going. I really, really kept going. There was no me, no way for me stopping Gerger. Is a massive threat even on its own, actually, due to it. It is a bit slow, yes, but uh, the things it bringing, it bringing good. It's really bringing good, and I think I decided to go for knockoff. And I wonder if this was enough to finish it off. No, and I think I followed that up with a Mac punch. With he's uh, gonna switch out to his absolute zero, which is the um, nasty, nasty Articuno. No, I actually went for Polka. All right. And, and I don't think I follow this up with uh, the, um, what do you call it, the Mag Punch, because I wanted to see if you missed the Hurricane, if Brain Punch would actually be close up uh, pretty much killing this Articuno, but it was a bit risky of me playing, so I should just have switched out, really. Gerda was a, still a threat, uh, so that was actually kind of bad. Now, I'll get caught in the stick web, and that uh, sucks all kinds of bad, of course. And uh, he is going to bring Kingdra here, which is Dragalgi. Now, Dragalgi is actually a very, very cool Pokemon in this type of tier matches because if you don't really prepare for it, which was really what I wasn't doing, 
Uh, Dragoli can get really, really nasty. Uh, it does wall so many things, it can deal with so many threats here. And that damage output showed me that, of course, it was uh, uh, Assault Vest uh, for every right reason. So I decided to go for Confusion. I should have Psychic, but the game cartridge that I had it did not have TM, so gave me. Uh, <laughs> we still get some nice damage there, I guess. And I'm gonna go to Eternia, which is a Quillfish, which should be able to wall this Kangaskhan fairly well. And I say fairly well. Um, it's not the best position. Uh, and Double Edge would still do roughly 50%. But alright, that's kind of maybe 40. Uh, there's little damages there, which is really nice. And my Quillfish actually is um, just hanging here. He's basically. He can't really do a lot of damage, but he can at least take it. And he's gonna switch out to his Hokomoro while I go for a T Wave, which was unfortunate because Kangaskhan would have been much better off, or any switch in besides this thing would have been much better off. But fair enough. So I guess we are forced now to kill this thing, and uh, he's gonna actually show me the magic code. And I, of course, went for spikes. So face bomb! Yay! Went off, walked right into that one, and uh, good play on the Rainbow Reel. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so it's going from the medical that I'm, you know, guessing I'm, I got tired of it. I really see what he was doing, and I'm not going to do the same mistake twice, and I got to finish him off. So that's basically Quillfish back to full HP, and um, due to this point, I was kind of like, I don't know what I can do. Quillfish can't come in on Kangaskhan again, I guess, and um, I do have speed Ampharos. So I could have potentially gone for a Destiny Bond here, taking him with me. But I also felt that I have a few Pokémon that should be able to deal with this. That should be able to bring it on, really. And um, I was hoping badly for an Electro-type move. And then I realized, oh yeah, the, the Surf variant don't have Lightning Rod. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to just retaliate back with the Thunderbolt, Bolt. And of course, that is not going to do enough there. Um, and he's going to miss the Focus Blast, and that's fine. He's gonna now re take it back to the Drogolgi, and like I said before, I um, had nothing with this Drogolgi, I really didn't, I didn't prepare for it, I basically was hoping I could do enough damage and then, you know, kind of take it out while the battle went on, um, but that's not a solid strategy for a monster like this. Mr. Mime is the only thing I had that can take it on, and I couldn't switch that in because now he knows that I have it and Sludge Bob will annihilate Purgory. So anyway, we're back to this situation, and I think I went for Icy Wind here, and because I'm losing speed all the time, and I felt that that was probably my best bet, really, and since I don't see him staying in. But he'll go to Shockman, which is a bit unfortunate, but no, I went for T-Wave, that's even worse. We'll do follow up with the Confusion, which I will take it out, so bye bye Hmm. Thinking about it, his drug only could be specs actually. Uh, so I mean, Kangaroo is gonna come in, and you guys know exactly how I have to play here. I don't have that many options left. So go back to Eternia, which is the Quillfish, is my safest option and hardly the best. And um, I'm basically gonna die to double edge damage because I can't, I can't keep up with that. I just I can't. And uh, this double edge does in range where the next one will kill me. Now, the only thing I can hope for is that um, I take him down with me, which is not a good play. I state this one more time, it is not a good play, but it's the one I got. And of course the double is going to kill me, and I'm going to take down the Kanga with me, which is... Um, I don't take the Kanga with me. Well, fuck you then. The Life Orb takes it down. Fair enough. <laughs> So anyway, he's gonna send out this Kingdra, and I hope for the love of God I went out with Purple Rain. And uh, this was a situation that was probably would have been nicer if I had Psychic or Psyshock or anything, because confusion will not be enough. And I was like, yeah, GG. This is it. Well, I do have the Sceptile still on here. It is not going to help me. It's not gonna work. You know why? Because this is a special set. Had I break the physical set, <laughs> maybe, just maybe, uh, Sceptile would have come through. But as it stands, there is no special hits I can make. 
that will make this Pokemon go down. So I will land a Focus Blast, but like I said, it's far, far from the win, and I can just smell the bomb going back at me, and I think that's pretty much the game. There is nothing I have left that can outspeed any of his remaining roster, and poor, poor Thundronator is going to go down very, very, very nastily here at the end. So, Raymond, thank you so much for this battle. Uh, I won't like deny the fact on whether I should have won or not, because I definitely shouldn't. Uh, wow, I really survived that focus blast, that's incredible. But I think my opponent had uh, a much smarter roster and team preview and planning than I did. I obviously just went in guns blazing and uh, I think the outcome kind of shows that there was really nothing I could have done. Uh, I should definitely have brought more defensive Pokemon, but as I stood there I had no nothing, nothing that I could work with going into this match, and I think the result speaks for itself there. Um, there was, I mean, he had Articuno, I believe, left, and the mystery was just a 2-0 in his favor, but um, like I said previously, uh, I should have other Pokemon I should have done this well, and I should not have sacked Girder like that. Girder was still a massive threat being able to... Uh, actually killing a lot of his Pokemon. Uh, it actually would have taken out Dragalge quite easily, which still kind of bugs me, uh, because uh, looking back at this game, I do see that I am being... I do play good, but I'm not... I'm not going for the win. I don't make the risky plays, and that's the very same place that makes me lose. Raymond is an incredible battler, to be honest, and... Uh, not going head-to-head -head against him is going to make you lose. There is just that simple. And I should definitely have seen a one coming. Um, which I kind of did go with him. But um, yeah, I was still like, I really, really see this game as um, as something I should have done much better. I maybe should have won it, but I should have forced Raymond to play much riskier. Which was something I didn't do. And uh, he wins because of that. He wins because I don't force him out of his comfort zone. And I know I lose when I don't do that. Uh, so anyway, Raymond, thank you, like I said, for this battle. And for the people I've been watching, thank you so much for doing just so. Uh, I will try to fix my PC during the day, so hopefully the upload is back with the intro and all <laughs> next day or next upload. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, but I really didn't want to hold this game any longer. I've been holding this game for two weeks, or at least one and a half, and I really wanted to showcase this battle because it was actually a really fun one. So anyway, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.